Hello everyone, now let's learn how to make this headpiece. First, you need some crystal beads and a strand of teardrop. Now, you might not finish the beads, so you have some left so um, that you can use for next time. So this is what the crystal beads look like in size 8. You can decide to use a bigger size if you want, but I want to use size 8. Okay, let's get started. You also need three strands of the 0.50 mm wire. 0.50 mm wire costs 1,500. And when you use three strands of it, you're going to have a lot left for other projects that you want to try. So you need to cut the strands as long as possible because you don't want a situation where it's going to be short and then you have to start joining. Okay, let's cut them. So when you cut one, you're going to fold it into two. So it's going to be really, really long. You fold the very long one into two. That's from the middle. Fold it into two. You can see that middle. Then you take one extra and join them together. So that's one on my left hand side. And then that's another one on my right hand side. I took the extra, the single one, bent it so that I can twist it together. When you twist this together, it joins the wire and then hides that sharp edge so you're not going to be worried about it okay so I have bent don't forget take one very long one fold it into two from the middle and then cut one strand bend it at the top to twist together okay so watch closely now before you twist them together you're going to take a single bead of 0.50 and then pass it through the wire so it's in the middle okay so i'm passing it through the wire and i'm going to bring it to the middle of the wire that's the one that i bent into two that i folded into two and then pass that other sharp edge of the third one please if you don't understand this part please let me know so i clarify so now I have passed the, the bead to the middle of the three wires. Now take that and twist it. You can decide to twist a length of one and a half, uh, two inches if you like. This is where I'll be making my loop from. Can you see that extra sharp edge? Twist it until you can't see that single wire again. Twisting will help the wire sink in. That way you're not going to have any sharp edge. Can you see that now? Now take that twisted part and fold it. Send the bead under the twisting and then twist it again. That's going to give you the loop of your headpiece. I do this because I don't want the loop to be so thin that it might cut off. So I have a very solid loop when I do this. Now you twist and twist. When you're done, just take the bead and push it on top like so just like that and that is the perfect loop for any headpiece that needs a loop now we're going to separate the wire and make them into three now you know if you want to braid you need to have three strands of attachment or wool okay just picture that you want to braid okay now let's get started all right so you have your three strands of wire on one strand add five size eight beads that's the round bead on one strand on the middle strand add one size eight bead one teardrop bead and another one size eight bead so you have three beads on the middle strand and then on the third strand you add another five size eight beads now this is what you have when you do that can you see the middle one is longer because of the teardrop in the middle so i have five beads on the um right hand the middle has three beads one round bead one teardrop bead and one crystal bead and then the last strand has five beads too please don't forget that we used a top bead to make the loop okay i'm separating it now so you see that now once you have gotten all of this together just hold them at the end position them well you can bend the wire so it, it um, bulges out you get position them well hold like so using your thumb and your index finger let the wires be very close and then you twist and that is the design we'll be doing today 
hold and twist about three times three or four times it depends on what you want to put in the middle but if you don't want the middle to show the twisting too much just twist about three or four times yeah instead of twisting very very long okay can you see this is gorgeous isn't it you can use this as an earring if you know how to make wire earrings this can be an earring design now when you're done doing that first one let's do the second one so i'm doing the same thing but you see how i carved that one before putting the second one which is the single round bead and the teardrop bead yeah you can do that too then you take the last one which is five um size eight round crystal beads fix it hold again yeah and then twist twist about four three or four times one two three four just like that your twisting shouldn't be so long and that is the design we will be doing can you see how long it is now so you do this until you get to your desired length welcome to step two once you've got the desired length you want it's time to wrap it on your alice band and you're just going to be strategic about this wrapping you don't need to use so much wire to wrap if you notice i still have that extension from the three strands of wire and i'll be using one of that extension to wrap this headpiece on the alice band because i made it really really long so that's how it's going to look just imagine this on a double alice band Woo! so beautiful so you see that end where i stopped i'm going to wrap that and while i wrap i'll be adding a gold plastic bead to those spaces where i twisted because i don't want to leave them empty you can decide to leave yours empty if you want but i want mine to have some sparkle so yes let's go there so i'll be passing that plastic bead it's a plastic bead in size um 10 i think yes so you can use any bead some people use agate stones for this headpiece if you're using an agate stone anyway you're going it's going to be really really pricey because agate stones are not exp are not um cheap okay so you see once you put it through the 0.50 mm wire you just wrap it two or three times to ensure that the bead is sitting perfectly now once you're done doing that you need to keep moving forward so what i'm going to do is i will be passing the strand of um, wire the one that i added the plastic bead on in between those holes please watch this part really closely this headpiece is so easy to make but you need to know the right techniques to use in making the headpiece so i'll take that wire pass it in between those spaces just watch closely yeah okay so you see that place i'm showing you i'll pass the bead over under from under yes come out and then wrap it close to that teardrop part wrap it and pass it inside okay so when i pass it inside i'll wrap it down then i'm going to come up again because if you remember we put one size eight one teardrop and another size eight in the middle so i'll be wrapping my wire around that part that has the teardrop can you see the inner part good awesome so now i'm moving up so i'm going to shift my hand up then go in come out go down again watch closely go in i apologize if this video is too long but it's very important for you to see each step it took me to get to the final piece can you see where i came out from awesome now i'm going to pass out again yeah watch closely and then inside so it's just a strategic way of wrapping your beads yeah now inside again and pull down that is going to keep that um, um bead in place it's not going to move it's perfect it's tight where it is it's awesome so it's easy peasy like that now when i'm done you see i arrived at that part where i twisted so i'm going to add another gold bead again wrap about two or three times and re repeat the same process till i get to the end of the alice band isn't that easy yes it is as easy as it is this is a very gorgeous headpiece and it's not cheap yes 
so the budget for this headpiece is um, between 3000 to 3500 depending on the type of beads you use if you're using a more expensive bead you definitely know you're not selling it cheap yeah so you see repeat the same process till you get to the end of the Alice band I hope you found this tutorial real easy to follow don't forget that you can ask me questions about this design on the questions and comments group yeah okay happy wrapping let's continue so I repeated the same process till I got to the end of the Alice band it's so easy to do right but you just need to know the right techniques to use now this headpiece you can wear it on a simple turban like if your turban is just plain you can wear it on your turban you can also rock it on your hair if you're going for a wedding party if you have a casual ladies lunch you know it's just versatile like that so I've gotten to the end of the Alice band and now I notice that I have excess space so what I'm going to do is cut off that first loop, yeah, but that bead that we use is still there. I cut off the first loop, wrap it so that it's tight on the Alice band. Then I'm going to fill up that place using the zero, the size 8 um, crystal round beads. That's all. You fill it up and then you add the gold beads and voila, you're good to go. So can you see what I'm doing? I add size 8 bead, I wrap it till I get to a point where I'm like, okay, it's time for me to add the plastic gold bead. Okay, so you see, easy peasy. Okay, so I'm adding the size 8 round crystal beads now to fill up that part like I stated earlier, yeah? And when I'm done doing that, I'll be adding the, the, um, the gold plastic beads to finish it up and once you're done doing this the next step is for you to either cover the underneath because you don't want the wires showing or you can leave it like that you can also decide to add an elastic band if you like so the elastic band is optional covering underneath is also optional but me i definitely want to cover all those parts that show that i wrapped wire underneath yeah so let's continue Okay, so the gold bead is the last thing you do. Now to tie this up or to ensure you finish well, just pass the wire into the hole of the gold bead about two, three or four times. Go round again, pass the wire again like that till you get to the end. Now you see, that's the end of the wire. So what I'll do is cut off the excess and I'll be wrapping that part with ribbon and also the part where we started i just cut off the excess wire so nobody can see where i started from and where i finished easy isn't it all right so that part i'll be covering up with a ribbon and b7000 um glue that's one of the glues that i really like if you don't have uhu you can use the b7000 glue so when you apply the b7000 glue to that bottom all you do is use a ribbon and wrap it I've applied some B7000 glue there. You just wait for it to get dried a little bit because it's stronger when it's a little bit dried. Then you wrap the ribbon round that part. I'm pushing that in because it's really tight. Wrap it round when you're done. Cut off the excess, seal, and then use the ribbon again or another ribbon if you like to cover underneath. So I'm passing the ribbon in between the last gold crystal bead. It will sink in. All you need to do is just pull it in and that's all. Cut off the excess. Apply the B7000 glue and then seal. You wait for it to dry a little bit and then you seal it up. Now that you're done, apply B7000 glue underneath that part where the wire is showing. Wait a little bit for about, let's say, five to six seconds. That way, it's going to be a little bit tacky. Once it's tacky, take your slim metallic ribbon. Don't forget that this part is optional. Whether you cover it or not, it's still a gorgeous headpiece. Okay? So, you wait a little. When it's a little bit dried, then you now cover up with your ribbon. And voila, your headpiece is ready to be wrapped for that occasion. Okay, so I applied a little bit of glue to um, keep the frayed part of the ribbon in place and now I'm just sealing the underneath. Once you leave your gum to be a little bit tacky, immediately you put the ribbon, it's just going to keep sealing, yeah, because the gum is not wet anymore. And that's all. You do that till you get to the end. When you get to the end, you cut off the excess. 
then you apply a little bit of glue fold in so that the ends are not fraying and then you seal up that's all fold in like so again apply and then seal then leave this to get dried and your headpiece is ready thank you so much for choosing zoe 